What's up guys, Houndish here, and today it's time for the weekly reset in Destiny 2 for the 9th of March. So, we're gonna jump in and see what we've got going on in the game this week. Of course, we'll cover all of the main beats, like the weekly quest, and as always, it seems likely that the chosen story will evolve. Glycon is also likely to evolve with some new scannables, and then we've got the new season challenges for the week. And we'll also take a look at vendors, activities, and all that good stuff. But guys, before we get into the video today, we have a pretty interesting opportunity that you have the chance to get involved with. And I want to say a big thank you to Wargaming for sponsoring the video. They are offering the opportunity for you guys to playtest a brand new unannounced FPS game and give feedback to the devs. And that'll help to inform future development of the title. And since, of course, it is unreleased, we can't talk a ton of details just yet. But it is a squad-based shooter, and there will be a playtest for players in Europe hosted on EU servers between March 11th and March 14th. I'm going to be jumping into the playtest as well, so I'm looking forward to hopefully testing it out with some of you guys. Gameplay isn't allowed to be recorded since it's still in development, and players will need to be in Europe and over the age of 18 to participate. There'll be a short survey after the gameplay, which will help the devs continue development. And if you complete it, you'll get a 10 euro gift card. Then the only other thing you'll need is a wargaming account, and you'll be able to sign up for the opportunity to playtest an unannounced title. So if you are interested in participating, be sure to check out the link in the the description box below and I hope to see you guys there. But now as we get into the weekly reset, initially things start out with a new cutscene. This one is particularly interesting because, spoiler alert right now if you don't want any details, but we get to see the Crow and Zavala meet for the first time. But also, as has been discussed recently, there was a risk of an assassination plot against Zavala. And the cutscene today gives us a little more information about that which is pretty awesome. So. I'll actually run that out at the end of the video if you want to check it out outside of the game. But looking in the director, we do have the milestone for the Challenger's Proving 5 quest, so we need to jump over to Helm to grab that. And while we do that, it's worth bearing in mind that the pinnacle drop from the Presage mission has now been fixed, so that's one we can go ahead and grab. But also, the Nightfall Ordeal Strike for this week takes place in the Inside Terminus, so have fun with that one. And of course, we have the new Strike weapons, and this week it should be dropping the Palindrome once again, so happy farming. But here, as we get to the helm, there is some new dialogue from Lord Saladin. And so we get some warnings from Saladin right there. And then, of course, the weekly chosen quest is now available. For a preview of the Challenger's Proving 5 quest right here, initially we got to get the Kibold Gold by completing Playlist Strikes, Gambit, Crucible, Public Events, Dungeons, Nightmare Hunts, or Blind Well. And then the second step is to use that gold to socket a Challenger Medallion into the Hammer of Proving. And so when you start out on the quest, it's easier to ensure that you don't have anything socketed in, otherwise you have to go through the process again in order to get the quest step done. And then the third step is to jump into the Battlegrounds, complete that, and then finally return to the Helm to debrief with Osiris and the Crow. Of course, that's the main spot where we're likely to get some kind of story progression. But for our weekly challenges for week 5, of course there's one to complete the weekly quest. Then we need to work our way up to acquiring 500 Cabal Gold. There's one to investigate three cryptic nodes left in the captain's log. And there should be new scannables aboard Glycon. But also going to the prismatic recaster to discover how to unlock more lenses. And then there's one to masterwork a piece of armor to acquire the seasonal ritual weapon, earn 5 infamy ranks in Gambit, and defeat 60 champions in the Nightfall the Ordeal, of which we can earn bonus progress at higher tiers. For the Eververse store this week though, as always we've got all of the silver featured items, and then we do have the Copper Brand Shader right there on the front pages Bright Dust section, as well as the Heartbreaking Entrance, and then we have the Fluid Dance and the Ninja Vanish emote. Moving to the main Bright Dust page though, we get Flag on the Play, an exotic emote right there, as well as the Awkward 5 multiplayer emote, and then we've got the Gigantis shell, and we also have the Thanatonauts Peril Titan ornament right there for the Mask of the Quiet one, of course we'll get different ones on different classes. And then we've got the Asteria Blade Ship, the Tertiary Objective for the Trinity Ghoul, and then finally the Crow Projection in the top slot, and once again the Heartbreaking Entrance, the Box of Tricks Transmat Effect, and the Signal Process Transmat Effect, followed by the Rustberry, Neopop Wave, Chitin Slate, and First Light Shaders. For Legend and Master Lost Sectors, we do have Exodus Garden 2A for the 1300 dropping exotic arms. And then the 1330 is Perdition for today, and this one's dropping exotic legs on Europa. Speaking of Europa right here, we've got Simulation Agility for the Exo Challenge this week. The featured Empire Hunt is going to be the Warrior, and then of course we have the Deepstone Crypt with Pinnacle Gear, and the additional challenge right there for the week being Red Rover. Also don't forget things like the Pinnacle Drop from Prophecy, as well as updated Dungeons on the Moon and Dreaming City. We've got Showdown featured right there for the Crucible, then of course Trials is currently postponed, but last week they did fix the issue where you couldn't get past rank 4 Valor, so at least we can do that. And also there is a bonus to Infamy this week inside of the Gambit playlist, so that's something else to bear in mind. 
Here though, before we speak about the rest of the reset stuff, it's definitely worth checking out that cutscene from today. So let's play it in full before we move on to non-season of the Chosen stuff. Sometimes I like to listen to the city's pulse. I hear it best when the people are asleep. And when I'm alone. It was a warm night. And I wanted to feel the breeze on my face. I took a walk through the first garden we planted inside these walls. To remind myself how far we've come. We've made so many sacrifices since those early days. But with the green of that garden and the murmur of the city we built up around it, I could be at peace. For a little while. Have you ever felt someone's eyes watching you, Guardian? You might not believe it, but I knew he was there before I saw him. I turned, and there he was, Aldrin Sov. His spirit haunting me. Then he shouted a warning, and something snapped in the trees behind me. I spun around, my gun in hand, before I realized I'd won it. It all happened so fast. A cabal assassin, one of Keitel's, no doubt. When I looked back for Prince Eldrin, he was gone. Was it a troubled spirit? A hallucination. I wasn't sleeping well before. Now I'm not sure I will at all. Finally, when it comes to the Dreaming City, this week's Ascendant Challenge is going to be in the Samaric Garrison, found via the Chamber of Starlight in Rear Sylvia. So if you wanted a gameplay of how to find the location right there, I'll run it at the end of the video. But for now, guys, that is what we have to round up in this week's reset. So as always, I hope you have enjoyed this one. Let us know if you're jumping into Destiny 2 this week. Of course, in a couple of weeks time, we're going to get some more content in the form of the Proving Ground Strike. So that'll be interesting. But for now, guys, if you found the video useful, then also be sure to hit that subscribe button so I can keep you posted on the world of Destiny 2. And otherwise, I hope you have an awesome day.